Welcome back everybody. Today I figured I'd give an insight into the nine things I do weekly to kick off a boost to my weekly gill form. I found by doing these early in the week, not only does it boost my gill, but it frees up the remainder of my week to try new ways of farming gill. So here are nine things you should do every week to boost your gill reserves. Number one, be sure to pick up and complete your weekly Wondrous Tales journal from Chloe. Not only will you receive an easy treasure map or 10,000 gill, but you'll have a chance at some rare mounts like the troll horn that run for over 10 million gil and minions like Omega M and F that easily sell for 500,000 gil each. By completing your weekly wondrous deals, you'll be on your way towards completing number two. Number two. For number two, you'll want to complete your weekly logs. A lot of these challenges will be completed passively by just playing the game during the week. Though, with a little extra effort, you can complete the 30 unique challenges netting roughly 100,000 gil in just log challenge rewards. And this doesn't even include the gil rewards for doing the content. To make this easier, I tend to focus on prioritizing logs that will help me finish certain tasks I'm working on. For instance, I'm currently leveling in Eureka, so I will prioritize these logs early in the week. I also do quick logs like most of the gold saucer. Once these two zones are finished, I'm only a few challenges away from my 30 unique quota. For number three, let's head to the Domen Enclave. This will take just a few minutes and you can net a quick, easy 20,000 gil every week. I like to turn in my 10,000 gil piece reward from the last week's journal and a few level three Demi materials. You can usually find the Demi materials on the market bar for less than the 5,000 gil that a vendor will pay you. So my strategy is just to hold on to a couple I find throughout the week. Turn them in, easy 40,000 gil, right there from those three items. Number four, we're heading over to our island sanctuary and we're just going to copy pasta either the daily or weekly list for the workshop agenda from Discord. This will net you some easy seafarer calories that can be changed into rare dyes and sought after materials. This will net you a few hundred thousand gil a week for practically no work. I like buying the ruby red dye and the cutting nine materials. I just place them on the market board throughout the week for some easy kill. For number five, we'll want to travel across Eorzea doing the weekly hunt from the hunt boards. Each weekly hunt will reward you 5,000 gil and 100 seals. I like to use my alliance seals from my grand company hunt board to buy etherite tickets. This will remove the travel costs for some of my more expensive travels throughout the week. I've set it up to only be used for teleports that will cost over 1,000 gil. In order to do this, click teleport. Click on the cogwheel, set etherite ticket usage to all cost above gill allowance, and set an amount you want to use tickets for. I have it set for 1,000 gil. This way, I don't accidentally waste them traveling across the zone for 100 gil. For number six, you'll want to head to Old Charlien on your culinarian because we're going to be doing the Mountain Steep Levy Quest. You'll be turning in high quality side two venues for about 10,000 gil per turn in. You'll have about 42 levy quests a week, making this an easy 420,000 gil every week. I'll tend to buy these really, 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 really cheap off the market board or slowly make them throughout the week. The best part is you can collect all the mats for the side two venu on a botanist and it doesn't require any rare time materials. Number seven. Just go quickly do your custom deliveries. You can do these with any hand or land job and you'll be turning them in for some easy white and purple scripts. I'll use these scripts to buy various rare materials off the merchant. Currently I'm focusing on eggplants for my purple scripts and grip gels for my white. Every now and then a client will feature a quest with a bonus that rewards additional scripts on completion. I'm not doing these bonuses yet because I'm currently still completing all the clients on this character. I've just unlocked Monago and Kurenai this week. With the level 90 crafter, this is an easy set of quests and can net you some quick, easy gil. Number eight. I like to search the market board for various items that are selling for under 1,000 gil. I'll buy these items in order to descent them. Often the descent materials will be worth more than it costs me to buy. I'll usually spend about 100 to 200,000 gil buying out these items and place the materials up on the market board. I could easily make 500,000 gil doing this and I tend to do it multiple times a week. Whenever I see my retainers are starting to run low on items, I'll just go buy a bunch of stuff, descent it and put them back up. This takes next to no work and I can easily do it sitting outside my house and watching YouTube. The best kind of farm. Number nine, this is my biggest farm for the week and I recommend it for everybody. I will head over to Saddlebags 
and look up all the medium sell items for collectibles and furniture on the various data centers that I can buy and flip on my server. Currently, they haven't updated this list to include the recently opened Oceanic Data Center, but hopefully they will add this to the list soon. While I'm on the various servers, I have various items that I have favorited so I can quickly look them up as well to see if anyone is selling them for far below the normal price. This week, I'm also on the lookout for new casual and coupo coffers to sell the clams for. So I'm also looking if there's any of them for super cheap as well. During this flipping session, I will usually buy about 25 million gil worth of items and hopefully sell most of them during the week. I like to buy a vast amount of items in order to protect myself from losing gil. Flipping will get better with more experience. The more you flip, the more you'll start to understand which items sell quickly and which items to avoid buying. Look at you, orchestral rolls. So, by following these nine weekly tests, you'll be well on your way to building up your gil reserves. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more gaming tips and tricks. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.